10 centimeters dilated. The baby's just about ready to come out. How are you feeling? Do you have any pain? Do you have any pain? Really? Uh. Let's just breathe in slowly through our nose and exhale through our mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Ah, stop! I'll give you something to alleviate the pain. Take this. It should take effect in just a moment. Thank you. I'm worried. Are we doing the right thing? It's too late to think about that now. It's just, I'm so afraid with the new law. It'll change everything. Let's not worry about that. Let's just think about you and the baby. That's what's important right now. This is Robin Waters of NWT TV reporting live at the Institute of Heart Mind Science. We have breaking news. The President of the United States and Congress has signed a law that nobody likes that will take effect in 10 days. We've asked some area residents what they think about this new law, and this is what they had to say. It's crazy. I don't, I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. How could they fucking do something like that? No, no, no. I think what the government is doing is all wrong. I don't want any part of it. If I have to, I'm going to take my children and get out of here. I'm not sure what to think. I just can't believe this is happening. My sister and my brother, their lives will never be the same anymore. New law? It's wrong. I don't understand why this is happening. I know man is flawed. He's not perfect. But we do have the freedom of choice. This new law will take that freedom from us. Over the past 20 years, the Institute of Heart Mind Science and the American government have been working on a way and they finally figured out how. Scientist Philip Rice of the Institute of Heart Mind Science explains. It wasn't easy developing this technology. We had many failed attempts, but we found a way to make it possible. And what we discovered is remarkable. Remarkable. There are a lot of people worried and concerned about this. Concerned. Unfortunately, there is no other option. Do you have a name for her? My beautiful baby mom. presents. Thank you, Dad. I've always wanted that. How did you know? A oh, little birdie told me. That's silly. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Come on, we have more presents. This one. Mm. Let's save this one for last. It's very special. Really? Yeah, I can't wait. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. I love it. Thank you. Ooh. 
What is this, Mom? You are a bad girl! People are gonna think something is wrong with you! Fucking brat! Why do people even like her? She's not even that pretty. She's ugly and fat, and she's not even my friend anymore. I can't let them keep doing this to me. I can't handle this anymore. I'm going to show them what it feels like. Hmm. Give me another. Sorry, but I'm cutting you off. God damn it, give me another fucking drink! I don't know what the hell you're going through, but you gotta stop. Fuck off. Get out of my bar. Fuck you. Get out of my fucking bar! Crocodile hugged Little Crocodile and said, I am sorry you are sad, and I am sorry you are mad, but understand your daddy is sick and he needs rest. Okay, Mommy, sighed Little Crocodile. Don't worry, Little Crocodile, you will see. Tomorrow you will have a wonderful birthday, just you, Daddy, and me. And they did. Hey, I can hear you guys in there. God damn it, open this fucking door! Open it, goddamn door! It is with our judgment that we create confusion and hate. It is our culture that creates chaos. It is our emotions that create meekness. Have we not learned from our forefathers? Have we not seen and felt the wars that were laid upon us, our country, our world, there will be no more crime. There will be no more hate. There will be no more judgment. And there will be no more war. It is time to disconnect. We will disconnect a new world is upon us. To anyone who hears this, I'm safe. I'm somewhere remote. And I'm sending this message to educate you. The American government believes that human emotion has caused grief, turmoil, judgment, hate, crime, destruction, war, 
According to the President's statement, in order to stop the cycle, the American government must unify with other nations in order to create what they call a new world peace. I bet you'd love to know how they plan on doing that. They want us to wear fucking masks. Did you hear me? Fucking goddamn masks. There was an uproar amongst the people of many nations over the new mask ruling. Many rebelled in the streets and against their government, and those who revolted were tormented, tortured, and killed. Many went into hiding while others accepted their fate. The new world was like no other. The masks were not mortal. They were stiff, orderly, and emotionless. The government believed that slowly over time, we became a selfish and heartless society, and our minds polluted with too much information, so much social and technological information that society collapsed. years I was in limbo. For 11 long years I could not feel. Sometimes I can't express myself. I can't say the things I want to say. I'm trapped behind the mask. Control, control, control. Let me be the person that I am. Let me be who I am supposed to be. Control, control, control. Find her! Gotta run, gotta get out of here, gotta go, I am free, gotta run, gotta get out of here, gotta go, I am free, gotta run. <laughs>